Hello, today is Sunday, February 25th, and I'm coming to you from my front porch. And I thought today would be a great day to do a video to see what's going on in the front garden because things are starting to happen. Mascari's coming up and blooming. My tulips have popped up, not quite blooming, but things are going to change fast here in Texas. So I wanted to document that and share it with you. Also, you guys, we have a new resident here in our little ecosystem. Ellie discovered a beaver last week in the ditch. So things have been happening since I did a video last, but I did post some shorts of the things that are going on around here. Like the pollinators are out. They were on the high senses up front here. And I'll also show you those on this little tour. But if you wanna see the shorts of discovering the beaver, Ellie, it's like the last five shorts. We've got Ellie, we've got a beaver, and we've got bees on the high senses. Okay, flipping the camera around from where I am standing, there is Ellie. Say thank you in advance to everyone watching the video. I'm gonna turn slowly from where I was standing to do the intro and I was standing up here because it's super windy today. So I have my hair pulled back, but I hope the wind cooperates and I don't have to do a voiceover once we get going through the front garden because I don't wanna do a voiceover, but here's the porch right now on February 25th and I still have my wreath up, <laughs> my winter wreath. Got to get that taken down. This is the front porch where I was standing. Ooh, it's a little after three o'clock here in the afternoon and that sun is starting to move towards the west. So you might get in the frame here. It does not look good when that happens. Let me move this way. So here's this. This is the bed where the caladiums go in. But I guess we'll start you guys. Let's just start up here at the bed, which was mainly one of the last it was the last video I did in 2023 was expanding this front bed. So we'll just start up here. And this is how it looks right now. Here's the red yuccas I planted. I'm trying to move towards more native and heat and drought tolerant plants. We'll see how it goes. These are the red yuccas I divided. And I'll link that video if you wanna see it so you can see everything that I planted up here. But here's what I wanted to show you guys. I planted some salmon impression tulips up here in 2022. And they came back last year and they're popping back up again this year. So I didn't plant any bulbs this year, you guys. No daffodils, no tulips, no anything because the weather has been so unpredictable. I just thought I don't wanna waste the money just in case you know they pop up because i had that happen the first year i planted these tulips they tried to come up in january and of course we got a freeze and it just snapped them all back and that was it i didn't get any <laughs> any tulips in uh, that spring so i was very upset so now they have come back last year for me they were super beautiful and they're here again so let's hope the show is really good you can see they're here popping up here and all the mascara came up all around the bird bath here. So tickled over that. Beautiful. I'm trying to be careful where I step, but here's more of the tulips. Now, not all of the tulips have come up, but there they are. And you can see my, there's daisies, banana cream too, and the marshmallow daisies. There's the Carly Rose grass. I cut it back. I'm gonna come around all the way this way. And we'll get a look this way. Ellie's dropped her ball for us. <laughs> okay, I have the ball. You ready, Ellie? You ready? Go, baby, go. Good job, girl. Okay, so while I'm standing in here, you will see some weeds. Oh, here, let's wait just a second. Okay, there was a plane overhead, so I was waiting just a second for it to disperse. But I've already had to start weeding, you guys. I weeded yesterday, and we finished the secret garden weeding this morning. You will see in this bed, I have left some. And this weed, call it a weed, but it's only a weed if you don't want it there. And right now, I want this there. This is called henbit. Here we go. You can see here, it's got a little purple bloom on it. Hopefully, you can see... But it's one of the few things right now in the garden for the pollinators to grab some nectar. So I'm leaving it here for them for right now. These and the hyacinths is what I've got in bloom and the muscari. So I want to make sure I have enough things for the pollinators to get at at this moment because they're out. The bugs 
are out, you guys. They are out and about. Ellie, she is so happy we're out here doing this. You ready, baby? Good job. I will tackle the little bit of weeds I have going on in this front bed over the next few weeks. Once we get some more things blooming for the pollinators. Getting a close up of the muscari and a little bee was snacking on it and I scared it off. So we're gonna have to move on on this little tour. Let me back up. Okay, so I'm stepping back so we can see the entire bed that I expanded in the fall. And it looks really good. I'm excited for spring. Okay, I had to pause just for a moment because the wind got really wild there. But today it is 85 degrees and it's forecast to be 92 tomorrow. It still does not mean that we can't get a potential frost. Our last frost date is mid-March here in North Texas. Now new zone 8B, formerly zone 8A, but I'm going to come over this way since I'm over here by the address sign. They're so cute. I always forget their name, so I'll pop it up on the screen for you. But they only get about three by three, so they're perfect up here. Here they are, just adorable. They're greening up nicely. They did get a little brown over the winter months, but that's fine. There you can see our driveway. That's what we're getting quotes on, finally, to get that fixed, hopefully. Hopefully, earlier than not. And we're just going to take a little trip back over that way to the front beds. Look at Ellie. Are you having a good time over here, girl? You rolling around? Did you leave us your ball again? Okay. As you know, here in North Texas, well, you may not know, we got Arctic temperatures here and below zero temperatures. So before that happened, my daughter and husband came out with me and helped me cover up my big leaf hydrangeas with extra sheets and they're all alive. So here up front, this is a hardy hibiscus. It, this year will be its second year planted last year. This is Hyconocloa grass. And then right here is one of my big leaf hydrangeas. And it's alive. Look at the new leaf growth. So yes, we covered them up with just extra sheets I had. I didn't have any frost cloth or anything like that. And they are alive. So happy. And here in my front containers here is ivy. And I just trim it back and it looks so pretty in those containers. In this bed is where I plant caladiums. And I dug up my Proven Winners Caribbean Coral Caladiums last year, last fall. And they are living in my office right now in a box, nice and dry. And I ordered some white ones to go with them this year. So I'll put those back out with the white ones when they get here or when it's warm enough. Let me rephrase. Maybe not be exactly when they get here, but when it's warm enough. And then these are my other two big leaf hydrangeas. And look at the growth. I'm so tickled. They survived. And I have hostas in here, which will be their third year. But it was their first year up here last year. I relocated them out of the secret garden up here. So, and this year I'm prepared. Got some critter cages. Hopefully the rabbits will not have a salad bar on my hostess this year. We shall see. And then this is my other big leaf hydrangea. Actually, I have two over here, but they're alive. And you guys have to know why I'm so excited these guys are alive. Last year, so this will be their second year for all these big leaf hydrangeas. I've had to start over every year we were here. My first gardening season here was 2021 and lost my hydrangeas in 2022. So got them again last year. So I'm just happy. This is the only one that survived and it's barely surviving, but it's got some growth and one little leaf. So yes, this one survived from last year. So hang on little buddy, stay with me. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna go right over here and see these hyacinths popping up. I do not know how they got here. I'm thinking either the squirrels did it or I could have done it. I cannot recall if I dumped any bulb pots in this bed or not, but I'm thinking the squirrels may have helped me out because the hyacinths I had in the secret garden are no longer there, but they're popping up here. So, and they're beautiful. Look at these. Get the crunch of the leaves. 
and the wind blowing. I hope the wind is not distorting the audio too bad, but they're beautiful. And the bees have absolutely been loving these, you guys. Absolutely been all over them. But again, there's not much in the garden right now, so this is what they get. And there's a couple more over here coming up. So they're trying to naturalize here, and I'm not mad about it. They are beautiful. These are the exact color I planted, so they're definitely bulbs from me at some point. Okay, while we're over here, we're gonna talk about this tree that's right here because it's all budded up. And a video I did a while ago, a nice person in the comments let me know they think this is a Bradford pear. And they are probably correct, but as you can see, it's all budded up. It's about to explode with white blooms and it's absolutely beautiful but this tree has been a headache ever since we've moved in my husband's been having to chop on it it breaks apart it's not good in storms it's just <laughs> not that great and we do want to take it out eventually and I do want to put a Japanese maple in its spot so we'll see but not happening this year I don't think unless it becomes even worse of a headache but you can see how weird that looks there it had a weird hook off of it last spring and my husband took that off so it's just been it's not that great really not that great but it's beautiful when it blooms out it's absolutely beautiful okay, I think now we'll just take a trip to the planters on the shed here Really not much going on in these except for the glacier ivy. Here's my trellis I put up in the secret garden last year. It broke over the winter. That's okay. But I haven't gotten to clean these out yet. None of the window boxes. I was mainly concerned about the weeds yesterday and we have tackled it. Woo! But yeah, these need to be cut back. But the glacier ivy is going to come back just fine. It's already coming back fantastically. So I'm pleased. But yes, need to clean these out. Cut them back. Mainly concerned about getting ahead of these weeds and we did it you guys but I will say putting out that mulch in the fall like we did was a huge help in the secret garden huge it didn't take long to tackle the weeds in the beds now the weeds in the rocks a different story but the weeds in the beds oh I'm so happy we put out that mulch in the secret garden over the fall and if you haven't seen that video I will link it if you want to see it's a little bit satisfying hard hard work my husband never wants to do it again but so worth it so here's these and what i love about this glacier ivy you guys this side of the shed here is north facing so it doesn't get very much sun at all some in the morning and a little bit in the evening as the sun is setting and it's performed beautifully as you can see it's just like that other one the one on the other side gets part sun and it does fantastic consistency throughout the window boxes which is this glacier ivy so super pleased just haven't gotten around to trimming it back and cleaning them out of the old begonias and impatiens were in there as well walking back up to the front of the house and yes you can see all the green weedy country grass so the weeds have already started here in texas like i said the bugs are out so it's time to clean up and i had to get a head start on those weeds or it was going to be a terrible job. I was hoping not to have to garden until March 1st. Kind of wanted a break. We had a super long gardening season last year. So, well, that's okay. So now we have de-weeded and it should make for a wonderful start to the spring to not have a thousand weeds to contend with. I'll do another pass back and forth so we can see the whole front. This is February 25th, 2024. Is what's going on out here well, I'm very hopeful for this gardening season I just hope the weather isn't too too hot well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have the most wonderful week thanks so much for watching and adding color to my world you say bye everyone thanks for watching mom's video you pretty girl